the minute you open your avocado, you should really be thinking about eating it. So uh, we're gonna do that today. I have this beautiful avocado. So avocados have natural oil, but more than anything, and don't you dare let anybody diss your avocado, because I'm here to tell you, cannot have a healthy diet without fiber. Avocados, and you wouldn't think it, because they're creamy, avocados have gobs of fiber. Look it up. I learned this from Dr. Kim Williams, the past president of the American College of Cardiology. He's also the current head of cardiology at Rush Medical Center in Chicago. From his talk that he gave on PBS, I learned, and I've also interviewed him many times on my Awesome Vegans podcast, uh, but from him I learned that avocados have gobs of fiber. Okay, so I just, you know, watch out for your fingers below, but I just cut my avocado this way, and then I cut it this way, and then I'm gonna spoon it. Looks like it might be sticking to the skin a little bit. Then I'm gonna spoon it into my big old bowl, and I like my avocado, my guacamole, chunky. So I'm not mushing this. So this is not gonna be some sort of puree as if you were feeding it to a, a newborn baby. No, no, Avoca uh, guacamole should be chunky. Chunky, that's what we're talking about. So I am just, so this avocado is sticking to its skin a little bit. It's tenacious. It's all that fiber. You see, it's all that fiber. It's making it stick to its skin. Okay, um, so just spooning it out here. And like I said, the minute you open an avocado, you really want to eat it because avocados can get brown. Tomatoes, onions, salt, your favorite hot sauce, and lime. Now, every once in a while, people will tell me that they don't like cilantro, which makes no sense to me. I understand, I mean, I love mushrooms, but I understand that people say sometimes like, I don't like mushrooms, they don't agree with me, this taste is too strong, okay. But sometimes people say that about cilantro and I just don't get it. So in my guacamole, there's going to be cilantro, but if cilantro is not your gig, it's just like with the garlic in the hummus that we're making, if garlic's not your gig, of course, don't do it. So I just took cherry tomatoes. I'll do that again here, no big deal. Just kind of chopped and diced them. Again, this is going to be a very chunky guacamole. So you can see my chunks here. As I said, about half an inch by half an inch. So I'm just going to add to that some tomatoes. It's kind of a see how it goes. You know, if you really like it with lots of tomatoes, I'll add a few more, but then that's gonna be it. And then I'm gonna add in my onions. Of course, decide what you like for onions, how oniony you want it. I don't mind onions, just like I don't mind garlic, so fine by me. But now, basically, I've got a very colorful dish. Like we always like to say on this show, you want to eat the colors of the rainbow. So, you know, I like a healthy mix of 50-50 red to green, 50-50 avocados to tomatoes. Okay, I tend to not overdo it on the onions, even though I like them, not everyone likes them. Salt as you go, don't salt at the end, because then you will over salt. So I'm gonna throw in some salt, woohoo! Stir that up. Now, how do you like it spicy? I'm gonna go normal spicy. I like spicy, but every once in a while, people go for like death spice. This is habanero peach hot, hot sauce. It will kill you. So if that's your gig, have at it. It's not mine. I'm going middle of the road, Tabasco. That's always going to work for me. And it's kind of my go-to when I do guacamole. So just a healthy amount here. Of course, you really have to cook to your own taste, so you kind of got to decide for yourself what is important to you. The big move here now is lime. I love Mexicans for their lime. Lime and salt. It really does make the world go round. If you don't have one of those uh, juicers for citrus, just take a fork. You can muddle it yourself like this. Wanna make sure my hand doesn't get in the way so you can see what I'm doing. Yes, yes, yes. I tend to use a full lime, but uh, limes are getting bigger and bigger, onions are getting bigger and bigger, so I'm having to adjust my recipes to accommodate the fact that everything's just getting larger and larger. Um, I, probably like you, I buy everything organic, but even the organic seems to be getting wildly freaky big. So, okay, I'm probably gonna use about three quarters of a lime because of that. Cilantro. Okay, I like 
cilantro. Some people out there don't. What the heck? I don't know. Um, I'm going to chop up my cilantro nice and fine, nice and fine. And then I like it, so I'm sprinkling it in. And I love the fact that I get some leafy greens. Obviously not a lot. It's more of a garnish than anything else, but still, you know, we are eating the colors of the rainbow after all. That's what we said. So guacamole is done. How's that for nice and fast? And that's good, because now I've got to check in on my hummus. So guacamole's done. We're gonna put it aside because in a minute I'm gonna make homemade chips. I get corn tortillas. Just be a label reader. Go to get regular tortillas at the store and just make sure that they, I have another towel here, um, that they have corn, salt, and water. That's all you want. You don't want things fried, you don't want extra things, and they exist. There's lots of brands that exist. Um, you don't want to have lots of other stuff in your corn tortillas, particularly if you want to make your own healthy chips. Of course, you could just grab a bag of vegan chips and go, go to town that way. But if you wanted to bake up your own healthy chips, get the cor corn tortillas that just have corn water and salt, and then you can see what I'm doing. I'm cutting them into give or take equal size. It's not perfect, but give or take equal size wedges. Woohoo! Woohoo! And then I'm going to put them on my bake sheet with parchment paper. And I'm going to pop them in the toaster oven. If you don't have a toaster oven, I highly recommend them. If, particularly if you cook for one a lot, toaster ovens are great. Then you don't have to spend the energy on a full oven, heating a full oven. You can just kind of stick things in the toaster oven. So, tagine is basically dried lime and salt. I can sprinkle this on my chips before I pop it in the toaster oven, and it's just gonna give my chips a little something something, a little kick so that once I pull them out after being toasted, they're gonna actually have some flavor to them. I, I like tagine, like I like all spices, so I maybe go a little bit overboard. You gotta decide for yourself. Okay, uh, chips are happening. You see how fast that is? 